sandal ski jacket. I don't know whether it'll fit you or not. It's a mite snug, but I reckon it'll do. You'd think bankers could afford new coats instead of covering them old ones with patches. <laughs> and these are the targets we shoot at. Uh, ain't them dandy little dishes. Just right for saucer and coffee. Why in the carnation do you want to shoot at a saucer like this? If you ain't careful, you'll bust them. We're about to the cup. <laughs> no, there aren't any cups. See? You done busted them, didn't you? <laughs> no, no, Granny, we don't use cops, just these saucers. I, I mean, these targets. The object of the game is to hit them as they fly through the air. Ah, I reckon I'd like to try that. Give me a gun, Jethro. I'll handle the release switch, Chief. <laughs> All right, if I try it without this little coat. Oh, yes, Mr. Rabbit. But I wouldn't suggest you trying it with the rifle, because when you yell full, those targets are going to shoot out there at 60 miles an hour. Pull! Shattered it! Sorry about that. I just meant to nick it so you could use it again. Well, Jed, from the looks of all them broken dishes out there, you ain't the first one that made a mistake. No, Granny, you don't understand. You see, the object of the game is to break the target. But to do it with a rifle is absolutely remarkable. Oh, shucks, that ain't nothing. A lot easier than shooting flies. <laughs> Can I try? Yes, of course, but I, I think you better use the shotgun. Oh, well, this here is Granny's. This here is the gun I'm used to. Leader of my Jethro. Okay, Uncle Jed. Pull! 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 Fantastic feat. Yeah, they's big, all right, but they help him to stand steady. Step aside, Jethro, and give me a whack at busting them things. Can you fling two at once? Yes, but fling! <laughs> fling two more, I got another barrel left. <laughs> I have never seen such marksmanship. Why, with any one of yours, my teammate, I can win tomorrow. I'll shoot with you, Mr. Drysdale. I'll shoot with you, Mr. Drysdale. Well, thank you. But, you see, my teammate has to be someone who works at the bank. And since Mr. Clampett here just happens to be my vice president... It sure was a stroke of luck for me to get that job just in time to shoot with you. Almost as though it were planned. <laughs> well, Willie May, wouldn't you like to try to hit one of the targets? Sure would. Ah, which gun would you like to use? Don't want no gun. Billy me don't much cotton to fire on. Don't no, tell me she's going to try to hit the top. Pull! <laughs> and here I stand with my cylinder bore, wide choke, $1,200 imported English skeet gun. That's a dandy, all right, fella. Just about couldn't miss with that. Uh, I could. And I think I'd better get in a little practice right now. Well, uh, we'll be pushing along, then. Oh. Uh, do you mind if I have my cousin Pearl to let this out of might? I can shoot a lot better if it don't bind me so tight. Be my guest, Mr. Clavitt. Well, I'll pick you up about nine in the morning. Hmm? Fine and dandy. Bye. Bye. Thank you. Bye. Bye. Bye.